stages in life cycle. So we are going to learn various stages through which Spark application goes through when it executed by the Spark processing engines. So this will include application life cycle and demonstrations about application life cycle. So let's go to uh, so the various phase of Spark application goes through from time it submitted to when it mark is complete completed. So we we going to learn when the Spark submit and when it completes. So what is the life cycle between? So as a user, I'm a user. First step to start Spark is just submit the Spark jobs to the cluster. Then usually this involves user running a Spark submit command on terminal or window. The command uh, process take talk to the cluster manager okay so if yarn is yarn is used for cluster management software then client process connect to resource manager daemon so uh, this command yeah uh, when we uh, submit the spark submit it will talk to the cluster manager cluster manager will if to yarn is yarn software is involved then it will talk to yarn yarn will talk to resource manager and if the job is accepted then resource manager will create spark driver process so after resource manager it will create driver process one of the machine of the cluster so it can create any machine of the cluster once driver process start running it executes the user code the code must be established spark session which turn set up the spark cluster driver process and executor process are collectively referred to spark cluster okay so we study of spark session in the depth of coming lesson but for now it is sufficient to know what is the spark session so it is a single point of entry interact with the under, uh, underlying spark functionality and allow for programming spark with the data frames and data sets api a spark session will talk to the cluster manager in daemon which uh, will rm and case so spark executor process on worker nodes so executor process will run on worker nodes rm cluster manager will launch spark executor process on the node across the cluster and return the location of executor process to the driver process spark cluster is set up the find and driver can communicate directly with executor process once the spark cluster is set up driver assign task executor process and job execution begin okay so once uh, uh, driver and you know the uh, process data may be moved around the executor so when executor reports on their status to the driver the driver exit when the spark job completes and cluster manager shut down the executor process on behalf of driver the cluster manager can query for the success or failure of the jobs now we have learned about the sparks let's work on the pra uh, some practical example this course you will working with the data sets related to bollywood movie so let's go with the example so so this is the kegel data uh, there are few command spark session spark version then we are reading file then counting and so you can use the collab google collab or you can use so this is spark cell it's established the connection spark is started then version is this one the reading the data from file and this is creating data frames and then we are doing counting so this is the process so basically you need to understand about this whole application life cycle about the sparks and you know, what is the core component like driver executor and resource manager only three components and yeah so please like and subscribe my channel i am creating some valuable videos in my upcoming lessons thank you for watching